It's hard to rant and rave about the current Dutch Eredivisie with a lack of finance and few well-known football faces. It's been a steady decline both at club level for the likes of Ajax and PSV and also on the international scene. Back in 1988, heroes like Marco van Basten, Ruud Hullet and Frank Rijkaard departed to AC Milan which soon kickstarted a trend of the best Dutch players flocking from the net. But because of this, there have been some incredible foreign imports who often first established their name in the European leagues at the Eredivisie, kickstarting the list and its long-serving Ajax fullback Hatem Trebelsi. Tunisia were the only African team to qualify for both the 2002 and 2006 World Cups with Trebelsi a key player. Over 175 appearances in red and white, Trebelsi made a huge leap having completed an original transfer from a little known team in Tunisia. He claimed the Eredivisie title twice and was always rumoured with a big money move to Arsenal. Unfortunately, he only wound up at Man City for a season where he was a little over the hill. Nevertheless, he was an Eredivisie classic. Henrik Larsson The Swedish striker enjoyed football in the Dutch flight just before his move to Scotland, where of course, he forged an infamous career at Celtic. The striker bagged 26 goals after making the move from Helsingborg and then ended up signing for the green and white hoops for just over 650,000. Looking back, what a bargain that was. Breaking into the top nine, we have winger Solomon Kalou. For those interested, the Ivory Coast wide man is still applying his trade in Germany with Hertha Berlin. But let's rewind back to the early 2000s where he first met his name at Feyenoord. Kalou ended his time in the Eredivisie with a hot record of more than one goal per game, which then led him to a move to Chelsea and six seasons of claiming trophies. Eight, Nwankwo Kanu. The big gangly striker, who has more flailing limbs than Mr Tickle, was iconic in England, particularly at Arsenal and Portsmouth. However, it all started in the Eredivisie, Kanu banging home the goals for Ajax, having just joined from his homeland Nigeria. Fun fact, Kanu came off the bench for Ajax when they beat AC Milan in the 1995 Champions League final. 7. It's one of the only players on this list who actually enjoyed a prolonged spell in Holland and was at his best throughout. Winger Dennis Romadal is one of the first names you think of when brainstorming Eredivisie greats. From 1997 and for 7 strong years, the great Dane hugged the touchline for PSV and bombed up and down that wing. He claimed 4 league titles during his time at PSV is the second highest capped Denmark international in history and all round Eredivisie top dog. Romadal's long career was very much unlike this guy's, whose spell at the top was more short and sweet. Recognise him? Mattia Kesman. Kes Kes scored an incredible 105 goals in 122 games for PSV in a team that also included Arjen Robin. Their careers took slightly different paths, mind. Although both joining Chelsea, it all came undone for Kez in the vibrant city of London. He just couldn't get a sniff in the big leagues after that. Five, and yes, into more superstar type territory, it's Yari Lipmanen. Despite playing for 13 different clubs, including stints at Liverpool and Barcelona, it was in 1995 when Lipmanen was most feared. Having helped Ajax to the Champions League title, the Finnish international was lethal in front of goal and became the tournament's top goal scorer the following year. He called time on his spell in the Netherlands with 91 league goals in 159 games, a number 10 to go down in the history books at Ajax. Equally as devastating at the Amsterdam Arena was Latan Ibrahimovic. The big Swede has a scintillating record in any of the divisions he's played in and the Eredivisie was one of the first to feel his wrath. During his time, Ibra scored a goal of the year, literally it won their award, a jinking run where he ran around every NEC breeder player twice before calmly tucking the ball to bed. Three, and the Eredivisie was lucky to host one of the greatest strikers in history, Ronaldo. PSV snatched up the young Brazilian from Grêmio in some of the finest scout work the club has ever completed. Ronaldo was an instant hit, scoring 30 league goals in his debut season. Although the second campaign was marred by injury, he still finished with a record of 54 goals in 58 games. It's no wonder Barca came calling, one of the greatest strikers in Eredivisie history for sure. If only he could have stayed a little fitter and played in the division for a little longer. Sneaking past Ronaldo into the number two slot, we have Luis Suarez. On the basis that he maintained Ronaldo's record for almost double the time, who can deny Suarez from Eredivisie stardom? The Uruguay forward caught the attention of Europe in the 2009-10 season where he notched 35 goals in 33 games and 49 in all competitions. Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo may make records like that look the norm, but trust me, that record was ridiculous and put Suarez up there with the likes of Johan Cruyff and Marco van Basten. Number 1, and this time we're going back to an era long before you were born, 
it's Romario. The Brazilian signed for PSV from Vasco back in 1988, having finished top goal scorer at the Olympics, but no one was braced for the storm that was to come. Romario played for five seasons, claiming the league title three times and scoring, wait for it, going to go slowly here, 165 goals in 167 games. The greatest foreign import, of course. Romario was renowned for his twisting and turning in the box, movement like liquid as he found the room to unleash his shots. That about does it for HITC Euro. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the best European football videos. We also have a new channel, HITC Top Corner, featuring teams of the week, top 50s and FIFA Thursdays. Feel free to check it out, just search HITC Top Corner.